Making hands in Blender can be pretty difficult, so I spent the last week experimenting various ways of creating hands, and I finally figured out the easiest way of making hands in Blender without wasting time. You can watch my previous video to know how to do the whole body, but right now, let's just focus on the hand. And I got a bonus for you at the end, so don't leave. Now, hop in Blender and delete the default cube. Then, from the top view, drag and drop a hand reference image. Enable opacity and reduce it to about 0.7. Then, move the image so that the wrist is at the third cursor. Also, move the image down so it doesn't get in the way. Back to the top view, add a single vertex. If you don't have that, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ins, and Enable Extra Objects. Now, add a Skin Modifier, and also a Subdivision Modifier, then increase the levels to 2. In Edit Mode, extrude the vertex away from the wrist. Then, select everything with A and scale up with Control A, not S. Let's consider this to be a portion of the arm connected to the wrist. Now, select this vertex at the wrist and extrude to the center of the hand. Then, extrude that vertex to the bottom of a finger. Shift Z for wireframe mode, then disable optimal display to clearly see the whole topology. Now, extrude this vertex at the center multiple times to each of the remaining fingers. Also extrude it to the thumb and add more extrusions to complete the thumb. Select the three points of the thumb and scale them down. Then, scale down individual points to get a nice shape. To complete the fingers, select these four points and extrude to the tip of the fingers. Also select these four points at the bottom and scale them down. You can already see the shape of the fingers. So now, move each of these points to the tip of the corresponding fingers. Select the points at the bottom and scale them up to match the reference. Now, to fix this weird shape, select the point at the center and scale it up to its max size. Then select the wrist and scale it down. You can scale this point to try to fix the dent. Back to object mode. Apply all the modifiers, then right-click and shade smooth. And there you have it. A nice hand made in a few seconds. Now, here is the bonus, I promised. You can get 90% discount on each of these assets and courses on Blender, Unity, Unreal Engine, and more. All provided by gamedev.tv and make sure to get them before the end of November. Just use my affiliate link in the description to help the channel survive. Thank you, and I will see you next time.